More and more people around the world are looking to have exotic pets, and it's all fun and games until your pet can literally eat you alive. That's why you should always do your research, and you can start right here. From the deadliest animal in the world to a killer monkey, here are 15 most dangerous animals kept as pets. Number 15. Snakes. Imagine being woken up in the middle of the night by a frenetic neighbor with gloves on and a pillowcase in his hands. What could be going on? Well, it turns out that said neighbor had come back from his holiday to find out his pet python had escaped. Imagine. Bruno the snake was found dead weeks later behind the dryers in the apartment building's laundry room. It was probably looking for a warm place and it got caught up and suffered a horrible death. Sadly, a lot of people think it's cool to have pet snakes, but the reality is that, as badass as they are, they are also very fragile creatures. They require a lot of care and the perfect conditions to survive, conditions that are very difficult to recreate outside their natural habitat. There's also the question surrounding the snake trade. Most of them are captured and shipped to other countries in very poor conditions, inside cages no bigger than a shoebox, and most of them die in transit, leading to the poachers to go and hunt for more. Snakes are amazing animals, and they should stay where they can live freely and happily. If you want to see a cool snake, you could always travel to their natural habitat and get a better sense of how they live and how they hunt. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Wolves. Wolves tend to hide away from potential danger and from the unknown. This makes them very lousy guard animals, who would just run and hide if an intruder would enter your home. Many people think wolves only howl at the full moon, but this isn't true. They howl constantly and for many different reasons, which would probably annoy your neighbors after a while. Wolves are nomadic creatures, and they are basically constantly on the move. This means they would go totally insane inside a house, even with a big garden. And I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want a nervous wolf to be near me. You would have to be extremely athletic to keep a wolf, as it would be impossible to keep up with it if you weren't. Also, wolves are pack animals, which means you would have to own more than one. And that just seems like a hell of a lot of work. Wolves are, for the most part of the year, except during winter, nocturnal. So it would be very difficult to get any kind of sleep with a pack of wolves howling and running all over the place all night long. Also, wolves are huge, and if you care at all about, well, basically everything you own, then don't get a pet wolf. Number 13. Bears. Bears might look like giant teddies that you can cuddle and hug, but the truth is, they are not. Let's not forget that bears are wild animals, and they are very unpredictable. It is true that people own bears as pets, and they seem very gentle and kind, just like a very big dog. But most bear owners are very experienced animal keepers with years of working with such animals. And they'll tell you themselves, having a bear at home is no picnic. These beasts are gigantic, and they can kill you and destroy everything around them with a single strike. Bears are very strong and wild at heart, and no amount of love and care can ever change that. There's the very horrific and famous example of Stephen Miller, a Hollywood animal trainer that owned and worked with his bear for years, after appearing in several TV commercials and films. But one day, out of the blue, the bear mauled him to death, and that was it. In their natural habitat, wild bears are solitary animals. They don't enjoy company except a mother with her cubs. This means that they will unlikely bond with humans like other animals naturally would. You can't control a wild animal, and bears are not just wild, but massively huge and extremely strong. This is one of the reasons that owning them is illegal in most countries. Number 12. Alligators and Crocodiles 
Owning a lizard is all fun and games, but what about a gator or a croc? Gators and crocs are perfect killing machines that'll eat absolutely anything, from fish to large mammals like deer and even other gators. They literally wait calmly until a prey comes along and then, well, they feast. They can be up to 13 feet long and weigh more than 1,500 pounds. Still think you could take care of one? On top of everything else, they are skilled hunters and very deadly at that. They can run at 11 miles per hour and can swim twice as fast. So do you think you could escape them? Yeah, I don't think so. They can also jump up to six feet in the air. Imagine that. Although there are cases when a wild gator or croc has bonded with a human, even if still living in the wild, it is an extremely rare occurrence. This means it won't protect you, it won't love you, and it definitely won't obey you. So having a pet gator makes for a suicidal mission. Number 11. Lions. Sure, lions are majestic and the kings of the savanna, so having one would make you super cool. Imagine your friend's face if you showed up with a lion one day. But keeping a lion is no joke. First of all, they are not cheap. Their price can range from $900 to $25,000. And then you need to think about keeping it well fed. I mean, you don't want a hungry lion roaming around your home looking for prey to hunt, but it's important to know just how much a single lion eats. It needs up to 15 pounds of raw meat every single day. And at today's meat prices, that's a considerable budget. You would also need a big, no, gigantic place to keep it. So unless you're filthy rich, keeping a pet lion is just stupid. And even if you are wealthy enough to keep a lion happy and shower it with love, there's still the dark question of the exotic pet trade, which is either heavily regulated or illegal in many states and countries. So they created a black market, and it produces as much as $1 billion a year. But the exotic animals are hunted and captured in a very cruel way often pulling them from their families and hurting them. They are not transported as living beings, but as objects. Number 10. Hyenas Lots of people dream about owning a wild animal, and hyenas are not usually their first choice. But if you are a hyena super fan, bear in mind that although they're not as intimidating as a lion or a tiger, hyenas are still very much wild and dangerous. They are basically a feline canine hybrid, and this means they have many of both worlds' assets. They hunt like canines, meaning they catch their prey with their teeth and they use their non retractable claws for running. But they share many behavioral traits with felines, such as scent marking and grooming. All of this means that they are very fierce and would make for a very dangerous pet. There's also the fact that most hyena species are very sociable, so they don't like being on their own. Would you be ready to own a pack of hyenas? Considering they can easily take down an elephant or a buffalo, they would find no problem taking down a person. They are also very aggressive animals, especially females, so taming one would take a lot of time and patience. Would you be up for that? They eat large quantities of meat daily, and they have a lot of energy, so you would need a very strong and big enclosure for them to run freely. Forget at cuddling with your hyena on your couch. Number 9. Komodo Dragon Lizards Komodo dragons are fierce predators, and on the island they come from, they don't have any natural predators of their own, and that makes them king. They have very sharp teeth, and their bite is so poisonous that it can kill a person. They are also very territorial and aggressive. They can attack people for no apparent reason, and they have been known to even kill villagers. And even if you want to be like the bad guy in James Bond's Skyfall that keeps one as a pet, you simply can't. It is illegal in every single state. They are a protected species that only live on a few islands in Indonesia. 
They are constantly drooling, which would destroy all your beautiful rugs. And their saliva is so full of bacteria that that's a hazard by itself. On top of all this, they need giant amounts of meat per day just to keep them healthy, and also a lot of space. Nonetheless, they are extremely intelligent, and that means you can train them and, in some zoos, often pet them. But that's a result of highly trained animal keepers, so unless you're one of them, stay away from the Komodo. They are the largest lizards in the world and will eat pretty much anything. They are also surprisingly fast runners and swimmers. Would you really want one under your roof? Number 8. Tigers after the show Tiger King, many of you might dream of becoming a tiger owner, like many stars around the world, but it's seriously not recommended. Tigers are fierce, strong, fast, and huge predators. They eat dozens of pounds of meat a day and would require a very big and expensive enclosure with a high security system. And even if you get your tiger as a cub, the risk of attack never disappears. And when a tiger attacks you, it is no joke. They can rip off your arm and swallow it whole in minutes. That is, if it doesn't go for your head. Tiger cubs, as cute as they are, don't remain small and cuddly for long. Just during their first year, they grow by hundreds of pounds, and with that, also their claws and teeth. Even playfully fighting with a tiger cub can result in death. And that's them just pretending to bite. A tiger, even if born in captivity, can work daily alongside humans for years, and then suddenly snap and eat its owner. It happens more often than you might think. Tigers are very intelligent, and they easily escape zoos and private properties. This is because a tiger needs to hunt and fight for its food. So with all this in mind, would you take the risk to own a tiger? Number 7. Giant Pit Bull Pit bulls are known to be dangerous, and it's for a good reason. They make up only 6% of the world's dog population, but they alone make up for 68% of dog attacks and half of dog-related deaths. That makes them the most dangerous breed of all, having a kill count of almost 476 Americans already. Pit bulls were bred for only one purpose, blood. They've always been fighting dogs, and we made them that way. Half of pit bull attacks were caused by a family pet, not in any way raised to fight, but it's too late now. It's in the breed's DNA to attack to kill. Come on now. Come on now. Give me some space, huh? There are still lots of advocates out there for pit bulls, and the problem is that they breed them in their backyard without any kind of training. For this reason, thousands of pit bulls are euthanized every year due to overbreeding. They are also the most mistreated breed of dog in the US and probably the world, so the situation isn't fair to either us or them. Keep in mind, pit bulls were designed to have an instinct to kill. They will bite and shake their head violently, and they just don't let go, even if you shoot at them. So don't own a pit bull if you don't want to be on the 6 o'clock news because of a gruesome slaughter. Number 6. Rhinos Some animals can be tamed, some others can be domesticated. That is not the case with rhinos. They are enormous, strong, and will attack anybody who comes close to them. They are deadly. They are very independent and will never see a human being as any kind of authority. Their eyesight is very low, which makes them even more dangerous because they can't recognize a friendly face and might mistake you for a threat and charge in self-defense. It all comes down to their personality. Some rhinos are more hit first and ask later, some others tend to just leave people alone. But even the more gentle ones are very unpredictable, and you don't want to have a rhino charging at you at 40 miles per hour. Rhinos are, ironically, endangered. Poachers hunt them illegally for their horns. That's why there were attempts of farming them to drive down the price of horns on the black market, but the idea was abandoned due to the aggression they show. Farming rhinos would mean selectively breeding them to make them easier to handle, and that means controlling who mates with who. But it's near impossible to create an enclosure strong enough to keep a male rhino from going to see whichever female he wants to see. That makes rhinos impossible to keep as pets. Number 5. Alligator Snapping Turtle 
As their names already describe it, alligator snapping turtles are not your cute little pet companion. They are carnivorous predators that use their worm-looking pink tongue to lure in prey and then bite down on them with their extraordinary jaw strength. Now, you don't want them to confuse your hand for food. This 200-pound dinosaur can live up to 120 years. The last time I checked, most humans don't live that long. Its veracity, weight, and aggression would make feeding time a mission. And let's not forget about cleaning its tank and looking after its needs. This might be a turtle, but it's not a gentle creature. One wrong gesture, and you can say goodbye to your hand. You also need a permit to own a snapper in most states, as they are an endangered species, and in some states, it's outright banned. Although, in the wild, they are not known for attacking humans. If you see one, just stay away as a precaution. With a bite force of 1,000 pounds, you don't want to take the chance of getting seriously injured. Number 4. Raccoon we're used to seeing raccoons just wreaking havoc everywhere they go. They're challenging creatures. Most experts advise against keeping a raccoon as a pet. They are very difficult to tame and will destroy your home on a daily basis. Raccoons are nocturnal animals, which means you will not get much sleep. Even if they are born in captivity, they naturally go to their natural behavior and it's impossible and discouraged to try and change it. They do not willingly stay in a cage. They like to climb and explore so they need a big space to do so. They're also little thieves and are very intelligent, so keeping them from your food or prized possessions would be difficult. This is crazy. You know, there's got to be 30 raccoons at least. If born in captivity, they can be very cuddly and affectionate, but they're also very quick to bite. So if there are children in the home, it can be a real problem. Let's not forget, they are predators. So if you keep a raccoon, you can basically give up on having any other pets, as their instinct might kick in and attack them. Raccoons are also famous for washing their food in water before eating it. That makes them messy eaters. It would also mean that you'd have to constantly change their water. Number 3. Serval Cat Serval cats might look like very big and beautiful cats, but they are not pets. They are wild animals designed to live in the roughness of the African savanna. If kept in a home, they pose a threat to everyone in it, people, children, or other pets, as they always remain wild at heart and are very difficult to house train. They are strong, fast, incredible jumpers, and cunning escape artists. They can catch a flying bird by jumping and are efficient fish catchers. They have a very varied diet, which is hard to provide in captivity. They can scratch you by mistake while trying to play and cause very serious injuries and even disfiguration. Because of their hunting tactics, which involves exploring, swimming, running, and climbing, they need a very large enclosure with trees, rocks, and water. You would literally need a little jungle of your own. They are not aggressive towards humans, but they like to play rough, so it can become tricky to be around them. If you ever decide to own a serval, you will need papers for it. But if it turns out to be too difficult, you are stuck with it, because whoever receives the animal has to have all the licenses in order beforehand, and there aren't many people or organizations who do. Number 2. Hippo Hippos are the deadliest animal to humans in the world, so no, they're not supposed to be kept as pets. Even if you raise them since a very young age and the hippo seems to like you, they are dangerous and very bad-tempered. There was a man who saved a baby hippo from certain death and took care of it. They even swam together in a river every day. That man was attacked and killed by his beloved hippo. In the wild, they kill 500 people a year. They don't look like it, but they are extremely aggressive and territorial. <laughs> They are also very loud animals. They can grunt and snort at 115 decibels. That's as loud as standing near a speaker at a rock concert. They are herbivorous creatures, which means they eat grass. But due to their size, they eat lots of it. 
you would need to have access to 80 pounds of grass every day for one single hippo. And if you don't, prepare yourself to deal with an annoyed, angry hippo. In 2014, a boat full of school children in Nigeria was attacked by one of these giants, and tragically, 12 students and a teacher were killed. Do you still think you can take care of a hippo? Number 1. Chimpanzee Chimpanzees might be our distant cousins, and they may look kind of similar to us, but that doesn't mean they are not wild, strong, and dangerous animals. There are too many stories of chimps hurting people even if they never showed any signs of aggression before. But chimps are still completely undomesticated. They are wild and can get stressed very easily around people. That, combined with the fact that a grown chimp is many times stronger than a man, it's a perfect recipe for disaster. So even if we share a lot of our DNA with them, don't let that confuse you. They will not hesitate to attack you if they feel threatened. They, like us, are very social creatures, but can be extremely violent with each other. It's in their nature to murder other chimps. Owning a pet chimp is also a bad idea because these primates carry a lot of diseases that are potentially deadly to us. Yellow fever, Ebola, HIV, tuberculosis, and wait for it, monkey pox. You also need to consider that almost all pet chimps come from the black market, and the way they take the chimps from their habitat is just evil. They shoot the parents and then pull the baby from the dead mother's back, put them in a cage, and ship them away. So basically, people should stick with the more ordinary pets like dogs or goldfish, although there are plenty of other animals out there that would make great pets. What about you? Do you own an exotic pet? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.